Hi, I'm Ann Gunn, and I want to welcome you to the fall 2021 semester. Um, these are still fairly uncertain times, uh, perhaps not as chaotic and uncertain as some of the times we've been through together in the last 15 months. But I have questions about how the fall semester is going to go. Um, and I certainly think you must have some at also. Uh, however, I'd like to point out that my classes are all online. And online classes are less subject to disruption than face-to-face -face classes. Uh, they certainly have the possibility for disruption of their own. Our tools can fail. The internet can have a bad day. But um, I'm going to try very hard to give you a consistent workload, to give you a consistent calendar, and to just keep chugging along through the semester, giving you um, as much of a structure and consistency as I can arrange in the universe. And I hope that helps you as you're managing the work for my courses um, in and around everything else that you have to do. Um, the message I'd like to give right now is that I'd really like to have each of you uh, try to approach the content in my course with what is referred to in the education business as a growth mindset. Um, and that's a funny concept since we're clearly here to grow and learn. But um, one of the key things about a growth mindset, and it particularly applies to classes with skills, is that um, you shouldn't assume that you're either good at this material or bad at this material. You may find that you are in a course where you will learn during the course of the semester that you don't like working in this, in this area, that you don't enjoy the material. But um, I truly believe that of the courses I teach, every one of them um, is, is accessible and um, can be of interest to just about anybody. And that you aren't a talented coder or a talented web developer um, right away. Nobody is. Uh, and, and you need to just give the skills development a try, have some patience. I think this has um, particular implications for um, a couple of different groups. One, if you're a total novice um, in the technical area where you're taking a class from me, um, I think you need to have a lot of patience with yourself have patience with the material um, and remember that, um, I mean, I don't, have, I don't have a psychology term for this. I don't know why it's true, but I believe it solidly to be true that it's much more intimidating to not know how to do something than to not know what. Um, I guess if I'm taking a U.S. history course and I don't know whether King's Phillips, King Philip's War was before or after the War of 1812, I may get frustrated with that. I may have to study it hard, but I don't somehow find the fact that I don't know the what facts, um, the topical content, scary. Um, however, if I'm looking at a screen, and I am trying to find the button that's supposed to be there. And the instructions say it's a green button in the upper left-hand corner and I can't find that button. Um, it's, it's somehow much more intimidating. It's much easier to decide that the problem is in you instead of in the content or that you just need to have patience, take a deep breath and look again. Um, particularly with us, with our courses where we have these online tools and they're always experimenting with different arrangements for things, changing their buttons, improving their content. My instructions are not always going to match exactly what you see in front of you on any particular day. Um, if you have an error message in front of you and you've done something and, and suddenly you have red text and nothing's working anymore, that's that's scary in a way, but I can reassure you that you are not going to break the internet. Um, the internet could break while you were using it. It's done that to me. <laughs> but but you aren't going to break the internet. You aren't going to break the tool set. Um, and and sometimes the best thing to do is just start an exercise over um, or ask a question. Really, asking questions is often really the best thing to do. Um, and so, so have patience with yourself if you're a total novice. 
if you're not a total novice in the topic of, of the course, I think you need to be particularly careful. Um, if you find that in the first two weeks, four weeks, six weeks of the course, a lot of the material is familiar to you because you've done similar things before or you've had a coding class before, that's great. Enjoy that. But watch out because in many ways, the folks who have trouble finishing my classes, who get frustrated with my classes, are the ones who know the entry level content and then somehow miss the bus when things start moving into the areas that they don't know. And, and they need to keep, you know, first of all, if you know the material, you're not going to know everything about it. So you need to challenge yourself every week anyway. Um, just move from wherever you are, try to move forward, ask more questions of the material, um, try, try more different experiments if you're comfortable with it. And then at some point in this course, you're going to, there's going to be something that you don't know how to do that is entirely new. Um, that's this year's technology of something that you learned how to you do a different way two years ago. Well, welcome to my life. Okay. And, and you have to be willing to step back and go, okay, I'm moving out of a comfort zone and into the unknown. I'm going from where I knew how to do something one way to, you know, I have to learn a different way to do it. Don't miss that bus um, because then you're really, you're, you're shortchanging yourself in the course. Um, I think that's enough. Uh, I'm here. I will try to be available for questions. Um, I will try hard to help you. Um, but the, you have to understand my biggest problem is I'm on this side of the screen and I can't tell when you're having trouble unless in some way you can raise your hand with an email, a Slack message, a phone call, and say, Ian, I need help. Uh, and, and one of the places where I feel most helpless is when I see someone who has just stopped working in my classes and I can't reach them and I don't know how to help. So let me do that. Let me do my job, which is answering questions and helping. And I will depend on you to have that growth mindset and try hard to not get down on yourself or not begin to take the course for granted and just keep plugging along and learning from where you are to the next stage in your journey. Um, and let me help with that. Thank you.